Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, I'm making cornbread in the Dash Mini Pie Maker today. It's so easy and so delicious, but I'm making it without sugar. I know a lot of people like sugar in their cornbread, but traditionally it really doesn't have sugar. Let me show you how to make it. You start with some cornmeal, and I'm using self-rising cornmeal. Now, if you don't have self-rising, you can just add one teaspoon of baking powder to this recipe with regular cornmeal using a quarter of a cup measuring cup and the ingredients will be listed below and in a bowl I'm gonna put three of these one quarter cup measuring cups of cornmeal just like that and the next ingredient is butter now you can also substitute flour for one of the quarter cups of cornmeal if you want to do it that way. I'm going to grate in about one tablespoon of nice cold salted butter. Let's plug in the Dash Mini Pie Maker. The light comes on. When the light goes off, it's ready. I guess I could have plugged that in at the very beginning. I just didn't do it. And now we want to lightly just kind of stir that butter around in the bowl. Okay, now for milk. Using that same quarter of a cup measuring cup, I'm going to put in two of them or a half a cup of milk. Just regular whole milk. You could also use buttermilk, but you might need a, a little bit more buttermilk because it's thicker. And that's all the ingredients. And now you simply fold it together and you want to take your time because the cornmeal needs time to absorb the milk. So there's no need to try and mix it quickly. It's so easy and you're waiting on the, the pie maker to warm up anyway. So just take your time. It's so simple. This is going to make two nice corn muffins. And it's just right for, well, two people if you don't want too much. Or it's good for one person if you'd like two of them. Of course, you can have two mini pie makers and things go a lot quicker. You can make two at a time. And I have two now, but I'm only demonstrating with one in this video. All right, you see how that's coming together? That light's not off yet. As soon as it goes off, it, it'll be ready. There we go. Now the pie maker is ready. There's no need to put any oil or anything in the pie maker. And you want to put half of the mixture into the pie maker. Notice the thickness. You want it to be just thick enough so it'll mound up a little bit in the middle. If it's a little too thin, it flattens out and it doesn't make as nice uh, a corn muffin. Set the timer for 10 minutes, and after the 10 minutes is up, your cornbread is ready. Ah, take a look. Beautifully done. That's nice. Let's put the rest of this in and make that second one. Now, I added a little bit of milk to make this a little thinner to show you the difference and because it's thinner, it'll spread out more, and so it doesn't dome up in the center quite as much. But it still works. Set it for 10 minutes, and once the 10 minutes is up, I'm going to go ahead and unplug it, and it's ready. A beautiful second cornbread muffin, but it's not as domed or as tall as the first one. Let's open up and take a look at this first one. Beautiful. That's great cornbread. Nice and crisp on the outside and still moist and tender on the inside. Mmm, absolutely delicious. And that's how you do it. Now you can, again, you can add different amounts of flour combinations or even a little sugar. With the sugar, it's, it'll burn easier when you bake it. But this is the traditional cornbread with no sugar. So, so simple and so easy in the Dash Mini Pie Maker. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you give it a try. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.